uh, making a short video on replacing the <clears throat> front AC blower motor resistor and temperature control module. This is on a 2004 Ford Expedition uh, Eddie Bauer uh, 5.4 liter V8 <clears throat> with the uh, temperature control system. <clears throat> uh, symptom is uh, AC blower would uh, blow every now and then. Uh, the speed was fine, but it's just it would blow uh, strong. Then sometimes it wouldn't come on at all, and then it got to a point where it just wouldn't uh, turn on. Period. I replaced placed the motor. Um, <clears throat> it was working fine for a bit. Then we can start doing the same thing again. So, did some research on YouTube and Google, and I found out that there was a, there was a resistor involved, and uh, I believe that's going to solve my issue. <clears throat> uh, to access, you want to take out or, or empty your glove box. Uh, push in on each side to release it. Let it come all the way down. You see your the unit is right here. I'll reach up under the bottom to pull the, the plug out. And I believe there's an eight millimeter uh, screw on this side. On the side. See if I can get a better view. This angle is from the bottom. This is the bottom of the unit where the plug plugs in, and there's a screw right on this side. Only one screw. I believe that's eight millimeters. Yeah. This. utilize a eight millimeter socket to remove that one bolt This is the, the whole unit. So I'll take that bolt out and pull that out. Okay, and here is the one bolt. Pull out the resistor and temperature control unit. Woo! Oh, that's all corroded. Get some gloves box back up. See better. Here's the whole unit. Clipping stuff. And if you trace the wiring, it goes into the same harness that, especially this uh, brown wire, goes into the power harness, which is here. This goes right into the lower motor. Alright, and take this harness off and put the uh, new one on. Pull the harness off, make sure you squeeze down on this clip here and pull it and wiggle it off. See, see it burnt out right there? 
Yeah, that's my problem here. It's all corroded, look at it. All right. My new one. All clean. All right, let's... Plug it in and put it back in. And pull the glove box back down again. Now, put the new unit, push it into the apparatus, the blow up motor, and all that jazz. All right, see, push it in. You see, it has a little lip at the top that holds it in. Again, this is a new unit. All right, try to plug in. Slide, push it in, slide up so it locks in, and put the boat back into the boat. Then we should be good to go. Alrighty. Tightened up the new one, put the glove box back in place. I'll see if we. Start this puppy up. Get some air. Oh. Oh, yes. AC. Living in South Florida. Can't afford to drive around without AC. Ah, oh, mercy. But that's it. Uh, that part, uh, being that is more than just a resistor, it's a typical temperature control unit things of nature uh, mine is aftermarket it is not a uh, Ford part uh, but the aftermarket one costs uh, $99 uh, before tax of like $106 or something uh, after tax uh, got mine from uh, AutoZone but it's a direct fit unit it looks just like the one I took out uh, but now I got front AC and I am happy.